I want everybody to close their eyes for a minute. Now imagine coming home from a long day of work or school, and you're tired, you've been run down, your boss and your teachers were evil to you. They assigned 50,000 things to do and only 30 minutes to do it. But you come home to a nice clean house because your pet kangaroo was able to clean the whole house. Um, and if you can't imagine this, just know that those are the best three weeks of my life when I had my kangaroo at home, cleaning my house for me, doing the dishes, and keeping, robbing, keeping criminals away. And the problem with our society and not being allowed to have kangaroos as pets is that we have no way to express ourselves. Everyone's stuck to dogs, cats, fish, birds. Nothing too exciting. The most exciting you can really get is a lizard. And even then, those can get old pretty quick. So kangaroos and other bizarre animals like them should be allowed to be pets so that way everybody can have a way to express their own spirit animal. The first reason kangaroos should be allowed as pets is because they're more effective than guard dogs. If you broke into a house and there was an eight foot kangaroo standing in front of you, do you think you would stay or do you think you would leave? Especially if the kangaroo hopped up on his tail and tried to kick you, you would go through a wall. <laughs> and kangaroos, being marsupials, are excellent helpers around the house. If you have a kangaroo that's not very well trained and doesn't clean your house for you, it can help you clean the house by holding supplies for you inside of its pouch. As well as it can help with food and just be your own personal backpack, really. Or if you wanted a more specific backpack, you have a koala bear. So I would like for you to visualize a future where everybody has their own unique animal that represents them perfectly, and everybody's happiness is at its absolute maximum, knowing that they have the most perfect companion for them. And think about the possibility of koala bear backpacks, you know, actual snake purses, not just snake skin. <laughs> and you can, in leather clothes, wouldn't, have, wouldn't be inhumane anymore. Because you wouldn't have to kill the animal with the leather. You could just wear the animal yourself. <laughs> so the biggest problem with this is that currently it's legal to have most of these pets as animals. But the best way to get around this is the black market. <laughs> what we all need to do is we all need to go out and buy our perfect animal. Because if Because if we all have our animals, and we all have the will to fight to the, to fight to the death for liberty and the pursuit of happiness, we'll finally be able to not have, we'll finally be, we'll finally not be on the pursuit of happiness, but we'll be at our destination. seen a 12 ounce water bottle before? The answer should be no, because we'd be dead. A 12 ounce water bottle is basically, <laughs> like, it's basically in between a 16 ounce, which is a regular water bottle like Gabe has right there, and a miniature one, which is like maybe four ounces in like small arrowhead bottles. Now, no one has ever lived to tell the tale of the 12, 12 ounce water bottle. The only reason why I know about this is because I work in Area 51 for over 18 years of my life. I will be talking to you guys about how we need to eradicate these water bottles and save our, save the planet and save the human race. Now, 
This water bottle has led to the extinction of over millions of animals. Think of the dinosaurs. Why do you think the dinosaurs became extinct? Because of a rock came and hit the earth? No. These water bottles killed these dinosaurs. Now, our, our human race is at stake, and we need, to, we need to save ourselves. Now, what, contain, what is contained in these water bottles is a poison. And this poison, when you come in contact, either drinking, touch, anything, smell it even, it will kill you. So, our plan is to get rid of these things by, our plan is to get rid of these things by drilling. These water bottles are found in the deepest, darkest depths of the earth. Why do you think we drill? For oil? No. Why do you think Iran and all those other countries drill? For oil? No. They drill to get these water bottles to use for mass destruction, and that's why we invaded them. <laughs> now, what? All the news that you've been listening to about wars, all this, it's all fake. All faker than CNN. Now, to keep you all safe, there's only one antidote to, the, to, to these water bottles and this poison. What do you guys think it is? Do not. Through, 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 all of, through all of human existence, what do you think there's been? Religion. Now, why religion? Because they have holy water. Now, everyone needs to carry some, some type of holy water with you, because that is the only antidote to save you from this water. Why do you think people have been with religion for thousands of years, since, since the dawn of time? Because they have holy water. That is how they have kept safe and they have not died. Thank you. We're all going to die. All right. Faker than CNN. Thanks, Andrew. Really, thanks. We're not going to see you. Power, yeah, you know, this is like all I got. I'm sorry, it's not much. I like, forgot I had to write feedback. Yeah. 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 Yeah.